Hey chess lovers, welcome back to the chess yard. This is Dehre Bagga and today I'll be taking you through one of the interesting chess games that I played. I was playing as black here and I played the Karakhan defense and it was pretty much interesting how it ended. So please stay tuned till the end. Side off with e4, I played c6, knight f3 by opponent, d5 played by me. Opponent takes here, uh, I take back, opponent starts controlling the center now by placing d4 and then i played e6 uh yes i'm blocking my own bishop's diagonal but the idea is to develop the bishop from d7 and then maybe in future uh play to c6 which would either diagonal towards the king uh what this helps me is like uh, there's no such threats coming from bishop i can of course place my bishop there's no pinning of knights happening so i feel pretty comfortable with this uh, these days and then after bishop d3, I went with bishop d7, open castles. I developed the dark square bishop onto d6, open place b3 here, and now queen c7. The battery is lined up towards the king side. Here open goes with c4, aggressive, nice move. And if I don't take here, my bishop would be pushed backwards, but I allowed that to happen, developing my knight onto f6. Opponent pushes my bishop backwards, but instead I went with bishop f4, trying to exchange the dark square bishops here, and my queen would be more active. Maybe I'm eyeing d4 sometime soon after the knight removes from there. Uh, opponent does trade here, and I take with the queen, and then knight hops in suddenly onto uh, e5, and then knight c6 by me, making sure that knight doesn't stay there for longer. Uh, can be painful. Opponent does take the bishop here and I'll take back with the knight so that my castling remains intact. And I feel pretty much comfortable in this situation. Here, my opponent plays uh, knight c3 and I take on the pawn with the queen here. Opponent uh, plays rook c1, uh, trying to defend the knight there. I got another pawn in the process. Opponent goes uh, knight b5, have to save uh, the pawn here. Uh, sorry, uh, I have to save uh, the folk coming from uh, knight c7. So, got my queen on to uh, b6. Knight comes on to d6, and I can simply move the king. It's not an issue if you don't if you are not able to castle because you have already grabbed two uh, center pawns, which would be helpful in the end game. Uh, now, knight goes back, and I just kick it backwards further by placing a6. So, knight c3, and then I went with uh, g6 to begin with, making sure that there's no uh, bishop uh, coming up, there's no queen tactics coming, so that uh, maybe queen would have loved to come on to g4, hitting the pawn, and then I have to move my king backwards, and then it blocks my rook movement as well. So placing g6 first, opponent moves the knight backwards further onto e2, and then knight e5 uh, played by me, hitting the bishop, which goes back, of course, the opponent wants to keep pieces on the board because I have lead in terms of material here, a couple of pawns extra. And then I played h5, trying to make sure that my pawn structure is solid on the king side and I can push for the attack now. Now, queen uh, to d2 by opponent, aiming to give a check, which would hit the knight also, but yes, knight is controlled. Again, I would have to generally go to the last rank or the opponent can try and uh, make some weaknesses in my pawn structure there. So rather I played king to f8 without a check coming because my idea was to place my king onto g7 and so that both of my rooks will be connected and then I can push for an attack. Here my opponent goes king h1 and I just placed my king onto g7 preparing to go for the attack. My opponent played f4 straight away trying to dislodge my knight from there which gives me a good square, which is g4. Now, knight g4 is uh, very tricky because I'm ready to give a check in the next move, and that would be a disc. Uh, and if my opponent decides to move the king, say the order, let's waste a move from white, and I give a check here, opponent has to take here. There's no other option because if you go here, then I'm just sidestepping, and that's a discovered check. Thanks to the queen still sitting on b6, eyeing this wonderful diagonal. So opponent will have to take there and then further loss in material happens. So opponent had to avoid it. So opponent plays a uh, knight to g3, 
Now, this is now controlled twice. So there's not uh, an attack coming from knight uh, f2. But what we can do here is push the pawn forward, dislodge the knight uh, from the defenses. And once the knight moves, we'll have an attack further. Now, knight goes, uh, my open plays queen to uh, c3 here, giving a check. But miss the fact that I have a d4 pawn, the center pawns, which my open don't have now, and they can be expanded. And now suddenly both the pieces are hanging and only one can be saved. So opponent has to save the queen and then knight goes. Opponent can take here. But then again, there are lots of threats. For example, knight takes pawn is one because then discovered check is coming as soon as I move the knight. Or opponent will have to give the queen for rook and the knight. And then I have a continuation of attack as well. So this looks very bad already. And here my opponent uh, plays, uh, takes on the knight and then I can give a check with the rook and that's what happens. Opponent moves and then the final move uh, was pawn to d3 and in this position my opponent resigns. Understanding is checkmate because only a rook can come in between I'll take and then the final move would be rook f2. That's a forced move and then queen takes would be checkmate. So uh, the diagonal worked pretty well. Uh, with the queen on, on b6 and the center pawns playing a see, very severe advantage i would say very positional play of pawns just move pushing the pawn forward giving a discovered check always awesome uh, and my rooks were ready to line up as well even if my opponent doesn't blunder any, anything so there's no hope chess here which i which i prefer not to play anytime like you don't hope for bad moves from the opponent but play good ones yourself that is the whole idea. And if you see the situation here, 6.8 already, where my opponent hasn't blended a piece. Uh, and this is completely winning uh, for black. So I hope you like the video. Do let me know your feedback. Keep watching and sharing. Do subscribe to the channel if you haven't already by now. And I shall see you tomorrow. Thank you so much for your time. Take care. Bye-bye.